shortening the history of human nutrition. I would like to tell you how the human diet has evolved. The development is actually five stages, which are five revolutions, each of which is characterized by a significant change in our diet and the ways of gaining food. So do not forget to subscribe this channel and comment to this special one. We are starting right away. From here, we will move to the second stage, the Agricultural Revolution. Throughout most of human history, plants have been the basis of our nutrition and taken and consumed straight from the fields without human intervention. Cereals, legumes, leaves, roots, fruits, seeds, pods, root cane, stalks, edible flowers, all grey and rose from themselves, and humans fed from them and moved from place to place according to consumption and sizes of growth. The stage where we took the wild plants and turned them into cultural plants that we grow in the fields called the agricultural revolution. The major dietary change that followed the agricultural revolution is our transition from a diet based on fresh plants and animal species to a diet based on dry seeds, such as those we can stock and store. In the Middle East, for example, it were wheat pickles and lentils. It is customary to date the agricultural revolution about 10,000 years ago. This is the time when the first archaeological finds were documented. But in fact, it is only a final stage at the height of the agricultural revolution, which is the culmination of much larger part. At the center of that move is not only the well-known agriculture of plowing, sowing and harvesting, but a much more significant change, the beginning of human food storage. And this is the change that led to both, settle in permanent settlements and the development of agriculture. Food hoarding marks our transition from a company of hunter and gatherers that its members did not store the food but ate it immediately, from a society that was equitable to a human society that stores food and later also property and status. The adoption of food storage followed by agriculture led to the development of economy and together they created the problem of scarcity and later also property and power. Once they started stockpiling food, a situation created that some people do not share in the food production processes. And the person with an excess of certain food has the advantage over a person who needs the same food. This is called relative scarcity. And because there is a value advantage, the value of the food increases. And the greater of the efficiency, the greater the value of the product. This is where the principle of modern economics comes from. The longer the shelf life of your product, the more profitable it is. So are the classes, because there are some who have them and some that have none. Food storage also allowed for free livelihoods and professions. But it is also the one that has enabled the accumulation of power by those who have food over those who need it. Once the agricultural revolution took place, there was no longer a return path. The agricultural revolution is an autocatalytic process, a process that feeds itself.
like a snowball, the process increased the population growth rate and so did the number of farmers over the number of hunter-gatherers constantly. And agriculture took the place of gathering and hunting. The barely cultivated was easy and convenient to use once dried. But very quickly, humans realized that in order to digest the seeds properly, more help was needed. A seed in the wild dries on the plant, falling to the ground, and its job is to survive until the next season. And for that, the grains has developed protective mechanism for itself. It changes the composition of the sugars in which to multi-sugars, which is the form of preserving the sugars in nature and develops acids to protect it from spoilage. If we eat the seed that contains this protective mechanism, our digestive system will have great difficulty digesting it. Therefore, in ancient times, men developed methods that dismantled the same mechanisms. The first is the sprouting. In the process of germination, the kernel disintegrates the defense mechanisms that allowed it to survive up to this stage. The second is fermentation. In the lactic fermentation process, the acid and sugars break down, and the process similar to the sprouting takes place. Much of the cereal processing traditions we have known throughout history have been made by fermentation. Well-known examples are sourdough bread and the Ethiopian injera that ferment the teff. The agricultural revolution is a process that began with the storage of food but never ended. Agriculture has become and becoming more and more intense and growing compared to traditional farming, which is multicultural, which over time has damaged the nutritional profile of the seeds, caused soil depletion and damaged the natural variety of seeds. And above all, despite the increase in the quantity of cereal constantly, since the agricultural revolution, there is still considerable food insecurity among 13 to 19 percent of the world's population. On the next stage, we will examine the most powerful revolution which stimulated humanity motivation to want even more. So do not forget to subscribe this channel and comment to this special one. Thanks for watching. See ya on the next.